Well, you, <laughs> she wasn't so much interested in what was going on on the field. It was the off the field hang with the parents, the uh, the tailgating aspect. You're welcome to come over to the ball fields. My kids are any day of the week, Danielle, <laughs> if you want to reminisce. Yeah, stay with my little guy. So, uh, how about the weather this uh, today and this weekend for? The outdoor activities. You'll be able to get in those uh, outdoor activities after school this evening as well. We do have a chance of a shower okay. or a thunderstorm, but I'm thinking after the sun goes down this evening. And then as for the weekend, Saturday's games are a go. Okay. We'll talk about Sunday, okay. but they can look outside right now. Over Newport Harbor, we've got a partly cloudy skies this morning. Hurricane Barrier camera showing some extra clouds around as well. And there's even a few showers out of those clouds. And so if we take a look at the uh, closer view here, over northwestern Rhode Island, we can zoom in over the area near Burville and heading uh, up towards Woonsocket, closing in on your area here. We've got a few showers and those are pushing basically west to east. So the bulk of at least these initial showers going to be missing Providence and they're all on the light side. So more of just a nuisance, occasional swipe of the windshield wiper over the next couple of hours. Nothing severe expected for today, Saturday or Sunday, but it is looking like a 50 50 weekend as we have cooler temperatures, clouds and some showers in the forecast for Sunday. We'll talk more about that. Frontal boundary uh, going to be lifting generally to the north of us. This uh, almost stalled out boundary this morning will lift north and then this is the cold front that will come through after midnight tonight. Gusty winds and some cooler temperatures behind that front, but we're still on the warm side of things today. So while I'm not expecting record highs. I do think many of us inland will be into the 80s again. We'll see a slight risk of severe weather in western, uh, the western part of the northeast around here, not expecting severe storms. Here's a future cast showing clouds and some sunshine. We'll see 8 o'clock this evening, quiet conditions. Notice again in the later evening in the first part of the night as those scattered showers, isolated rumble of thunder comes through, then skies clearing out for tomorrow. Nice Saturday ahead. 3 o'clock, mostly sunny skies, dry and pleasant into the low and mid 70s. So what a day's Saturday today. Most of the day looking dry too. our temperatures by 930 in the morning back up into the 70s inland cooler. The coastline. It'll be a breezy day again. Southwest winds going to be gusting up to 30 miles per hour inland spots in the early afternoon, upper 70s to low 80s and we'll start off the evening hours in those 70s and 80s inland 60s at the coastline. If you're trying to get in a trip to the beach today, morning shower temperatures in the upper 60s. That water temperature is still at 47 degrees for your evening hours. Again, we start off the evening quiet. It's 10 11 o'clock at night that we'll see that best shot of a shower or a thunderstorm into the early part of the night as well and then not quite as warm we will drop down to about 55 overnight. Here's that area of low pressure for Sunday and in between with significant rainfall staying offshore but clouds and a few showers trying to clip us. I don't think it'll be raining every hour of the day. You'll get some dry time in on Sunday, but there will be at least a chance of a shower throughout the day. So 82 degrees for your temperature today, low and mid 70s tomorrow. Fair amount of sun Sunshine too, and breezy winds early on will diminish some as the day goes on. Sunday's high near 64 degrees, just scattered light showers. The rainfall should total less than a quarter of an inch. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday looking dry and seasonable, and then a shower threat returns for the end of the week. Full future cast 